you've already seen a like walkthrough of what we're going to build in this project, or hopefully you've already seen that. And the idea is actually stemming from a service called Bitly. So what URL shorteners do is they take this really long URL and then they allow you to shorten it. So let's say for instance that you went to YouTube, like one of our channels, and then you went to a playlist, like a super long one. See, this is kind of a long URL, right? It's kind of long. It's not as long as it could be. You've probably seen ones that stretch all the way across the URL bar. So if I copy this and actually paste it into something like Bitly, they make this shortened URL for us. So that's actually what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be making this shortened URL service that works internally for ourselves. And it's also gonna allow us to do URL redirects. So notice how on a lot of our videos, we say joincfe.com slash YouTube, and that will actually take you to where you need to go. Those are the two concepts that we're gonna be doing here. We're gonna make a shortened URL that has just a custom name, and then we're also gonna have one that has this general, like just kind of random generated code name that you can then use as a redirect as well. Now we're not gonna be building Bitly. Let's let's be clear about that because Bitly is a very powerful platform and it's something that you should consider using if you're not already, which is something we also do. But I, I do wanna show you at least the basics of what builds up Bitly so you guys can use this in your own applications because something like joincfe.com, we actually own that domain, of course, but we use it as a way to have our own kind of custom shortened URLs where Bitly, we don't control how this works, right? I don't have any control as to what this looks like. And if I wanted to change it in a year or two, I can't do that. Or at least that's as far as I know now. Of course, if there, oh, there's probably paid or, or some of those sort of things that we can do on Bitly, but that's not really what I want. I want complete control over it of these URL redirects. So those are the two goals. We're gonna have a URL shortening service, and then when we go to that URL, it will redirect it and maybe some store some data about that specifically. Okay, so we've gotten a lot out of the way, so let's actually start now into creating our actual app. That's something we'll do and pick up in the next video.